Hey everyone, we are back with more judgment. It's gonna be the last 30 minutes of today's stream. Let's go see what we can afford. There's something very one. I think this is the next one. Yes it is. Okay. I think that's it for the 500s that I can buy right now. So, the next one we're gonna get is Combo Speed. Get you up here. 3,000. How many points do we have? Okay. So yeah, our next goal is 3,000 points. Alright, we got one more quest to do here, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's the third of the Tiresome Trio. Yes, we do. Yes. Really, guys? Really. Oh, thanks, Ryan. I didn't see you there. Dude, I like. Oh, that was 10,000 yen from that dude. I like how Ryan just shows up. It's so cool that they that you get people to help you after you do their quest. I like that. Thank you, Mihira. Why are you both here at the same time now? Did you guys get like transferred to the same ship? All right, we're gonna try a golden Mont Blanc. A creamy Mont Blanc shines like a mountain of smooth, mellow gold. That looks like a bunch of noodles wadded up. Back to it. Mike is playing Persona 4 Golden. I'll get to that series eventually. Alright. We're heading out, guys. Case is actually up in here. Up in here, up in here. This, oh, yeah, here you are. Hey, Yosuke, I'm here about your case. Ah, here you are. I've been waiting for you, Yagami san. Hmm? No Sukino today? Right, I came alone this time. I see. So, what's the job? It sounded pretty serious. Yes, it's a delicate subject. It's the Twisted Trio again, though. I figured as much. I guess the third one has reared his head. Yeah, do you know anything about him, Yagami san? Hmm. Nope. This guy is the peeping tom of the bunch. And the name he's been given is Judge Creep and Babe. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I don't know why I'm surprised by these anymore. <laughs> judge Creep and Babe? <laughs> but it's the judge part that's got me curious. Why judge? He peeps in on couples at love hotels and determines their guilt or innocence based on what he sees. <laughs> he... what? He thinks of himself as some kind of authority on what should be a private matter between a man and a woman. And if he deems them guilty, he uploads the pics to social media. <laughs> I can't even imagine what kind of criteria this guy has for that. Is it safe to say you're the victim then? Did he catch you with your girlfriend? Um, no, not exactly. I, I mean, I do have a girlfriend, but she's studying abroad in America right now. But if you're not the victim, don't tell me it's Sukuno. Yes, she's been victimized yet again. He has a video of her having sex with her boyfriend. Damn, that's heavy. Huh? I guess Sukuna must have found a boyfriend since the first pervert. Now I mean this guy judged her guilty. On what grounds? <sighs> Sukuna is so depressed and mortified she won't even leave the house. I shouldn't know the answer to this by now, but you're sure it's Judge Creep and Peep? Not some other guy? No, she saw him with her own two eyes. She saw him? In the love hotel? Well, she saw says she saw the flash of his camera and looked out the hotel window. He had apparently affixed himself to the wall and then crawled like a, away like a cockroach. Uh. What? A cockroach out in the world? I couldn't tell you, but we have to act fast or he'll upload her pictures so that for the whole world to see. Mm. Alright, I can see why you're so serious about it th this time. I'll be charging you so 50,000 yen. Can you pay it? Yes, I'll pay whatever it takes. The video was taken on a love hotel called the Top of Ocean Hotel. I still need to have. Alright, guess I'll go see what I can find. No promises though. It's in your hands, Yagami-san. It didn't hurt to go have a look at the, around the hotel. Maybe I'll find a clue as to how he attached himself to a wall. He's got those weird suction cuffs. That's fucking hilarious. Judge creep and peep. Okay. 
She's got a bigger crab now, guys. Yagami-san. Did you come to watch me sing? Of course. Yeah. Gotta stay current on the latest song I shot and hits, you know? Happy to hear it. Oh, that makes me feel really special. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> then I'll put a little more oomph into my performance today just for you. Man, why does he get all the special treatment, huh? My heart. My heart, it roars with the flames of jealousy. Maybe it's just my heartburn. Sonachan looks so happy. I wish she'd look that way for me. That guy just came. Why can't we eat it in New York hot dog? Oh, I see the new hot, new messes. All right. Yagami-san, did you know there's some videos of me online? Well, I do now. Did you upload those yourself? Yes, I have been. Even before I came to Kamurocho, I would upload videos here and there in hopes that more people would hear my music. Dang, I had no idea. And you're still doing that now? Well, I kind of stopped ever since I moved into town. But the older stuff has been getting a lot of hits lately. Big enough for a talent agency to contact me. They said they wanted to meet up in person. I expect nothing less of you. That's good, but I'm a little worried. Amazing. I expected nothing less of you, Sonachan. Oh, please. It's no big deal. There we go. Alright. Yeah, the hotel district's up here. I was right. Yeah, we're gonna stop into Papa's here for a moment and re replenish our healing item. I'm surprised I can still only get tough to see. I figured I'd be able to get better stuff by now. Out of the way, dude. Alright. Dude, that guy was like ready to throw hands. That fucking pummeling me. Hey, Ryan, you're a bit late, but alright. Stay down. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. Have we gotten all the food at this place? I think we have. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait, that's him? Oh dear god, I've never seen anything so perverted. Unforgivable, I pronounce these heathens guilty as charged. I'm actually kind of impressed he made it up that high. Well, I guess I'll shoot him down with the pigeon. He'll live, probably. Shoot him in the gotta aim for his ass. Good. No. Whoa, he's fast. What the hell? The cockroach thing wasn't far off. He couldn't have gotten far though. I'm on it. Go. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, got it. We did it, team. Hey, hey, you okay?
You! You're the one who did this! You've been appeared in my righteous arbitration! And I find you guilty of obstruction of justice! Sorry, but peeping towns don't get to make those kind of talls. This time, you're the one on trial. Silence! Order in the court! The defendant is guilty of contempt! Yes, and I'm gonna be the judge, jury, and execution. Executioner! Guess we're doing this. Backhanded Judge Peep and Creep. Judge Peep and Sleep. Yagami son, you did it! Thank you so much. I think it's safe to say that the video won't be appearing on any social feeds. Oh, thank God, no one should be subjected to what went on in there. Huh? Wait, what? Didn't you say Sukino was the victim? How would you know what went on in there? Oh, uh, um, well, well, you see. Huh? Yagami-san? Shit! Sukino! Hmm? Oh, hey, Yosuke, what's going on? Sukino, I heard that you were too depressed to even leave the huh? house. Depressed? Why would I be depressed? Well, Yosuke's here says that you were the victim of Judge Pe mm. Creep and Peep. Judge what now? You're scaring me. Oh, no. I was just talking about Yosuke's job. He said you and your boyfriend got caught in a tryst. Seriously? What? Uh, tr tr tryst? I don't know anything about this. Uh, Yosuke? Care to explain this one? Uh, I'm sorry. I lied about Tsukino being the victim. Yosuke. What? Why would you do that? Let's not be hasty. Now that I think about it, is that how you knew what went on in there? Uh, nothing gets past you, Yagami-san. Are your Judge Creep and Peep's real victim? Why lie about it, though? Couldn't you have admitted you and your girlfriend were taped? That's... But I thought Akira-chan was still in America. Well, mm -hmm. Akira-chan is Yosuke's girlfriend, yeah. I take it. Yep, they met through me, actually. But she's studying in America right now, so it's a long-distance thing at the moment. But she didn't say anything to me about coming back. She's not back at all, is she? R right. She's still in America. That would mean you got caught in the hotel room <laughs> with... Uh, yeah. I was in the room with someone else. Yosuke. You cheated on Akira-chan? You promised her you could handle a long-distance relationship. D don't be mad, Sukino. I am mad. And why did you lie to Yagami-san about this whole thing? Well, you and Yagami-san seem to talk on a regular basis. We do? So, I was worried that if I told him the truth, you'd eventually find out. And that Akira would kill me and you'd blow up like you are now. Wrecked. Hey, Doofus! Welcome! How's your week been? So there you have it. Jeez. Guilty! You're guilty as charged, Yosuke! Sorry, Yosuke, but you're gonna need more than a lawyer to get you out of this one. I'm sorry! My brother really put you to the ringer, Yagami-san. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, you're the real victim here, Tsukino-chan. I'd say your brother's guilty of character assassination. Y yeah Yagami-san almost got the wrong idea, Yosuke. Why don't you and I go have a few words? Okay. Oh, and Yagami-san? Just so you know. I... I... I don't have a boyfriend. Hmm? Okay. Goodbye. Look at that! Jeremy with the resub! Thank you very much, sir. Let's get a bean. Alright, we got a bean. This one is liver and onions or cappuccino. 
Good pair of onions. Not a bad one. I wasn't expecting the curveball on that one. Yeah, liver on onions is just salty tasting. But at least the whole Twisted Trio is locked up now. Got to look on the bright side, right? We get some slimes in the chat, uh, in the trap, in the uh, chat for Jeremy. Thank you for the reset, buddy. I appreciate it. Judge peeping creep. So, Doofus, we had to catch the Twisted Trio. The Twisted Trio were composed of the Panty Professor, Ass Ketchum, the Groper, and Judge Creep and Peep, the Peeping Tom. Alright, we got 15 minutes left so we can go do the next bit of main story, I guess. Those are the, the, the three, uh, those are the three members of the Twisted Trio I had to capture. I had to investigate. Yeah, in this game. My favorite is, uh... My favorite's Ass Ketchum. That's just absolutely hilarious. Original bread. It is a true culinary accomplishment in this day and age to innovate on bread. Special bread. The owner bakes his bread personally, putting in his own twist on the classics. In Mega Fruit Tart, a pastry covered in lavishly in fresh fruits. The cream and acidity create a perfect balance. He thought I meant in real life. <laughs> Back to it. Do you imagine somebody going around calling themselves Ass Ketchum in real life? The warehouse let your driver leave the yard in the wrong truck. Oh, we got a new message. Oh, Sana. No, oh, hang on. Um, if it's not too much trouble, can I ask you something? What's up? Is there any chance we can meet up? I'd like to thank you for the other day. I wanted to see you too. Sounds good, I actually wanted to see you too. What, really? Yeah, I've been wanting to talk to you again. That's sweet. Where should we meet then? How does the theater square sound? That's kind of by Comrade Theater. She knows that's where she hangs out. Why would you need to tell him? Why did you mansplain to her about that? Hey, let's meet in the place that you hang out, and I'm gonna tell you where it is. Hmm, should I buy a present for Shana Tommy for a date? I bet LaMarche has some good stuff. Show her how much you care. Before you go out for a night on the town with a girl, consider buying a date. Isn't that LaMarche? If she gives, if you give her a present she likes, you're intimate, especially if she's really into it. Basically, if you suck at a, keeping a conversation going in the right direction, a heartfelt gift, gift might save you. Topic talks. As you enjoy your time together, you may enter a topic talk. While having a conversation, select the choices you think will make your girlfriend happy to fill your intimacy gauge. Occasionally, one of the choices during a topic talk will be locked. Lock choices only available once you set level trust. However, once you unlock these topics, you'll be able to listen to her secrets, concerns, and perhaps a few intimate details. Aim to impress her with your sharp wit and vast knowledge. For sure, the kind of gentleman or bad boy you really are. Why is... I am. They did not notice until he was almost in Wallace. D did he not notice he was in the wrong truck? Yeah, dude, this game has a lot of stuff in it. Oh, she looks really excited. Hey, did I keep you waiting? Not at all. I actually just Thank got here. So cool, thanks for coming on such short notice. Thanks for inviting me. Glad we can finally hang out. <laughs> me too. What should I give her? Um, a racing jacket? Oh, I guess I can only give this to her. So, a white sweater and black jacket. I uh, give this up in a mix of cool and cute. Uh, cute and cool. Here you go. I actually have a present Seriously? for you. What? Really? Yeah. Here. Wow, a racing jacket. Oh, but hmm? you don't like no. it? Oh, no. I'm overjoyed. It's just, if I wear this with you, wouldn't we kind of match? Oh, good point. I hadn't thought of that. We'd look like a real couple. It'd be cute to wear this on a date, wouldn't it? Yeah, matching outfits are cute, I guess. You can now ask Sana Mihama to wear the racing jacket out on the dates. That's the exact outfit you're wearing? I knew it. 
Anywhere you go in particular? <laughs> well, since I lived in the country my whole life, I never really got the chance to see the big city. Honestly, I just want to go somewhere fun. With all that built up tension, you know? Hmm, what would be a good first date for us? Starts, the arcade, the batting center. How about the batting center? It's a pretty good stress for me, okay. right? Okay, sounds good. Never actually been to one. Perfect, then let's get going. I have never actually done the batting in these games, so. This'll be something. So this is what a batting center looks like. Wow, it's not as sketchy as I thought it'd be. Mm. Hope I can actually hit the ball. Why don't I show you how it's done? <laughs> oh, go for it. That's my chance to impress her. Better not stray off. <laughs> Good luck from this. Great. Hey, swing bat. Okay, these are tough controls. It's seven or more home runs within ten pitches to clear out. Okay. Yeah, I can't do this. My timing is off. Here we go. All right. Yep. I did it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What? I hate this game. How am I supposed to tell where it's going? Uh, well, at least I hit it. I got set two home runs. Hey, my rank is Dragon Quest. I'll take it. You decided not to go out, so here you are. Well, welcome back, Vector. Turn up for a bus. Well, you feeling under the weather, maybe? Not so much. It's just, I'm not always like this. Don't worry, we all have those days. Crap, that was the complete opposite of cool. I have that problem every day. I'm having a blast so far. You want to sit and catch your breath for okay. a bit, maybe? That would be good. I'm getting a little tired. Goofus, did you take your wife to the batting arena on your first on your first go? Did you rank Dragon Quest? So, what should we talk about here? So, how do you like Kamarancho? Are you used to the big city okay. now? I think so. At first I was intimidated by all the people here, but I realized a lot of them are actually pretty nice. You do have a lot of fans looking out for you, including me. I try to come across as mature. I know this is a city like the back of my hand. Okay, and why are you telling me this? Well, you know, when you end up learning the ins and outs of the city, that's how you really know you're in it all. Oh, alright then. I'll be sure to work on that. Alright. I've been some of the other schools I did in my head. Do you have any hobbies mm. other than music? Well, let's see. I would say cooking. Now that's a helpful hobby. Any secret recipes you're willing to share? No. Ha, I wish. All I can really make is stuff like curry. I'm actually pretty big on curry. Good, because curry is one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, I did it. I've been trying to recreate my mom's curry from scratch. You know why if you tried it. It's the best there is. How's that coming along? Uh, Honestly, I can't seem to get it all right at all. But I decided to go off on my own little adventure. Like using more traditional ingredients or experimenting with different spices, for example. <laughs> Sounds like someone really knows their curry. Oh, yagami -san. So what are your hobbies, Yagami-san? Probably fighting. Inviting, inventing cheap recipes. Playing pinball. Probably fighting. Uh, you get into fights with people. 
<laughs> More like I get harassed the moment I step out the door. It's getting pretty bad. <laughs> On my worst days, I get into an average of three fights every 50 meters. It's just punk after punk after punk. Huh? I'm sorry, I had to. No way, I mean, I don't think this is going to at all, but seriously? You fight that much? Yup. There are some crazy people out there who, for one reason or another, want to beat me black and blue, or worse. And no matter how much I try to talk them down, they never listen. So I have to use a little self-defense. But I'm telling you, they're like roaches. Step on one, ten more take their place. Hmm. Uh, okay. I wouldn't really call that a hobby, though. I don't know, son chan I'm kind of starting to enjoy it. <laughs> wow, you ugly son. You're more of a bad boy than I gave you credit for. Hey, how about we take a picture? Our future selves will thank okay. us. Okay. Oh, of course. We went to the roller rink on your first date. On your fifth date. this looks good yep looks just fine to me wow you're actually pretty good Can you send this to me later of course all right what kind of guys are you into sana chan hmm. Hmm, now that's a question it's kind of hard to say okay how about older or younger which do you prefer hmm, i'd say older i want someone more dependable you know yeah i can respect that oh, what about you do you tend to date younger or older younger for me oh really then, how much younger? Well, I'm 35 right now, so... Oh, do note that I'm 19. Oh. I could probably go 20 years... Hint, hint, I could probably go 20 years up. I don't know, dude. Twenty years would make them fifteen, so no. Eh, fifteen years is fine. Mm, I'd say fifteen years. I'm pretty flexible. Hey, hey, that's almost my age. But would it really be so easy to bridge that kind of age gap? Well, what about us? We can talk about pretty much anything, right? Maybe we weren't meant for each other, or maybe we were meant huh? for each other, huh? Oh, I get it. You almost had me for a second there. You're silly, ugly son. Hey, look. That's the girl from all those videos going around. Oh yeah, the song stress of Kamarocha, right? Yep, and she's damn cute too. Wonder if she's dating that guy. Uh, they're really talking you up there, huh? Yeah. I guess. Come to think of it, those videos of yours have gotten pretty popular lately. Yes, well, I'm glad that people like my music, but at the same time, I can't help but feeling a bit overwhelmed. Should we get going then? That's true. I think so. I've had enough publicity for one day. You know? You sure are something. It's like you became an overnight celebrity. Well, I certainly never expected it to happen so quickly. Who would have thought that a couple of live performances in front of a theater square would get me this far? Hey, people like what they like. And personally, I think they see something special in you. That's what draws them in. <laughs> well, I'm certainly happy to hear that, but it's, I don't know, scary to have so much attention all of a sudden? Maybe a talent agent would help keep things under control? I'm sure there are some good ones out okay. there. I do plan on asking one if I meet the right person. Tell me if you run into any trouble. Yep. Okay, I will. There you go, guys. First date successful. Thank you so much! Thanks for today, Ernie son! I'm a little burned out. Oh, fuck, she hated it. She hated this date. Sounded like it was going great. It was not. That's my dating life, though, so... You guys get a fresh glimpse into that. Thanks for coming out today, Sana chan Let's hang out again soon. I'd love to, just let me know whenever you're free. Huh? We got her to rank one. Aw, oh, shit, Intimacy's level still went up. We're level two now. We did it. Alright, well, I need, I'm saving up 3,000 to get combo speed, so... Alright, so, guys. We finished all the subquests we have available to us right now that we can do. Uh, 
I have a friendship thing over here I can do real quick, so let's go let's go do that. We can go make a new friend here in town. Hey Doofus, would you eat at Wild Jackson? Is this the journalist dude? Oh no, it's this guy. Oh, it's you, sir. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, what's going on? You look pretty wiped up. Oh, my apologies. Just lately, we've had a fair share of tiresome customers, you could say. Tiresome customers? Uh, I apologize. I'm sure you don't want to hear me griping. Actually, I wouldn't mind hearing yet. Well, very well then. I was about to say that I've been dealing with people who don't have the slightest idea how to order. Tell me, what do you think is the most troublesome kind of customer for a bartender? Huh? Now there's a question. Customers who order cocktails that are a pain in the ass to make? That's actually what I get to show off my skills, so I prefer challenging situations like that. Hmm, hmm what ideas here? A lot of customers think they're being savvy by ordering whatever I recommend, but in truth, it throws me off. Although I'm confident in each and every item on our menu, I have no idea to tell what the customer really wants. <laughs> Seeing as I'm not a mind reader, I simply don't know what to make for them. I can see how that might end up giving you a headache. For instance, what if the customer refuses to drink it? That, or it might not suit their taste. That's why I'd appreciate a little more information on orders like those. I see. I guess I'd better put a little more effort into getting to know the bartender. Huh. Indeed. It's different for regular customers, since I already know their preferences. <sighs> then I better stop by more often so you know what to get for me. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Would you like me to get uh, to get something started? Look at that, we made a new friend. Alright, you got anything else to say? No, okay, we can't maximize his friendship yet. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for today's stream. Okay. Alright, starting tomorrow, or Monday, we're gonna be going on in the game story a bit more. Uh, today was mostly just side questing, and that's okay, I had a lot of fun.